people often wonder if there's one right interpretation to a dream, and there really isn't. Um, uh, there are many interpretations to any dream that are right for whatever situation or person or culture. Uh, and here again it boils down to uh, the individual, uh, that you can take um, dream dictionaries, culture, the collective, uh, you know, universal symbols. Uh, you can take all these things in consideration, but ultimately you are the arbiter of what your dream means. It's your personal truth and others. Uh, can help you find that truth. And that's uh, one of the things that Dream Social is uh, doing to help people to connect with ideas uh, and support to help uh, everyone find their own truth about a dream. Uh, I want to give you an example from the anthropology literature. Uh, you know, anthropologists have studied the dream cultures of uh, many different kinds of uh, people. And uh, the example of this dream is uh, there's a village and a man in the village has a dream where a mysterious stranger comes into the village uh, and he's bringing um, an ear of corn and he gives it to the dreamer and the dreamer peels back the husk and sees that um, the uh, corn is all buttered and ready to eat and he eats it. So what is the meaning of this dream? Um, well, it depends on um, how you look at all the different symbols because uh, from a Jungian perspective uh, the mysterious stranger would be uh, some sort of source of unknown wisdom or insight and the corn would be a gift of that to to eat food in a dream symbolizes to take something into your system to uh, ingest it to absorb it uh, and so the mysterious stranger would be um, your higher self or unknown wisdom or an unknown source of information making you aware of something that you need to integrate. From, the, from another perspective this would be seen as wow you shouldn't have eaten that corn because the mysterious stranger was sent by a sorcerer uh, who was putting a hex on you and now because you ate the corn uh, you've been cursed and the remedy for that would be to beat it out of you and that's exactly what would happen. And then from a Freudian perspective, well I'll just let you deal with the corn on that one, uh, but you know there's any number of perspectives and the thing is they're all right. They're all right depending upon context and perspective. Any other questions? Yes? Um, what, is, what suggestions would you have Um, what suggestions would I have for overcoming nightmares? Uh, a lot of it would depend on the, the uh, source for the nightmares. For example, if someone is having nightmares because uh, of um, a serious uh, condition in their lives, like uh, uh, post-traumatic stress or trauma from uh, a catastrophic accident or trauma from a relationship or something like that. It really needs medical help uh, and uh, someone who can address it from a medical perspective as well as from a psychological perspective. So um, if you're talking about anxiety dreams, uh, nightmares that are bringing up uh, things to your attention that need to be resolved, uh, then uh, the thing to do is to uh, identify what the dream represents, what the elements in the dream represent. Um, is there something going on in my life that I'm not dealing with? Because if I'm not, then the dream is telling me that um, I'm getting very out of uh, balance. And the longer these situations go on, the worse it is for me. So the uh, action and the symbols in the dream would need to be related to, um, through association, uh, to things that are going on in someone's life. Uh, for example, uh, is there a repeating nightmare of uh, someone breaking in t into my house? And uh, the house is a, a symbol of uh, my security, it's my safety zone. And so uh, the person in the dream who's breaking into my house, what does that represent? What, what is going on in, in my life that is undermining my safety zone? Uh, so that's uh, how, how to approach some of those kinds of dreams. OK. 
Okay, well, I guess we're ready for... I have actually a dream I would like you to um, hear and let me know what you think. Okay. So, um, this was strange. This was a while ago, actually. I journaled it and nobody offered an interpretation yet. So, uh, it's... I'm in a grocery store and I'm looking at the fresh fruits and vegetables out there, but the only thing that really comes to my consciousness, to my awareness, is onion yams. So I woke up and I'm wondering why onions, you know, the, you know with leaves and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if, if those of you in the back couldn't hear all those details, Masood is in a grocery store and there are lots of fruits and vegetables and what draws your attention are the onions. Now are they round onions, green onions? Onion onions, you know, the, the long. Oh, the long ones, like the green onions. Green onions. Okay. Um, if that were my dream, um, I would relate the grocery store to a, a, a place of plenty, having many choices. Uh, food is a symbol of spiritual nourishment. So I'm in a place of abundant spiritual nour nourishment, and so why am I being drawn to the onion? Uh, what does an onion mean to me? Well, here are my associations with an onion. Uh, it's an ancient antidote uh, against uh, unwanted influences in life. Um, onions, garlic, all of those uh, families uh, repel the unwanted, whether it's spirits or energy. Um, they're very high in vitamin C, so it's good for your health, full of antioxidants. But for me, what stands out is the repelling. So I would ask myself, uh, am I in need of something to take into my system uh, to integrate? Uh, to strengthen me to repel something unwanted in my life? Do I need to bolster my spiritual health in some way? That's how I would look at it. Does that have any resonance for you? Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. It does, but when mm -hmm. I woke up, I, I thought maybe it's just a suggestion, need more onions. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, that's a simple. Yes, I mean, uh, the, the, uh, th that would be, uh, uh, you know, it, does my diet need to improve? That would be an, another way to look at it, too. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, dreams are really like onions. They have different layers of meaning. And so on one level, it, it could be, uh, well, yes, maybe I just need to um, eat more onions or things that onions represent to improve my health, but then there is this other emotional, spiritual aspect to it too. So dreams are kind of a both and sort of situation. It's uh, not necessarily just one meaning to a dream. There are many meanings to a dream. A dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So uh, the question is, uh, for those of you uh, who might not have heard it all, what's the significance of dreams of a dead loved one? And um, there are real uh, dream visits with the dead. Uh, and the ancients viewed dreams as a bridge to uh, the realms of spirit. And um, there is this type of dream where we have a genuine reunion with someone who has passed on and takes place in a dream. And these dreams are distinctly different from other what I would call ordinary dreams. Um, it is not unusual to, for the dead to become uh, part of our uh, dreaming material. Uh, this is a way that we process our grief. Um, but they also become symbols for us in our dreams. So a lot of it would depend on um, does she have frequent dreams? Um, which could be the processing of memories and grief. Um, the dead can take on uh, symbols. They represent something. They represent qualities or uh, something to do with our relationships. They say something about ourselves as well. Uh, if it was um, a dream that happened very soon after someone passed uh, and it had a lot of unusual characteristics to it and seemed like a real uh, a real meeting uh, with lucidity and uh, being able to communicate and have uh, even touching in the dream. Um, that could be a candidate for a, a dream reunion visit. But um, 
otherwise uh, the dead do become part of our our dream lexicon uh, after uh, my father passed away I did have one uh, reunion dream visit with him and then after that um, I did uh, I, I dreamed of him frequently and it was um, I think part of my processing losing him and then after a while the dreams with him in it became less and less frequent he became more of a symbol in dream like dad the authority figure or um, certain stage in my life you know that was uh, important to me at a particular time and uh, uh, he died in 1983 and uh, I don't have very many dreams of him now so they just gradually uh, gradually drop so those would be some of the meanings or some of the reasons why yes mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>